Something's not right. Something's not right. Something's not right. Something's not right. That sounded like some part of the desk moved. Yes, that's too open. Something's not right. Something's not right. Ah, we're getting somewhere. A key, and a note from father. Someone is tampering with my work. I know it. I know it. I hear them as they whisper and snicker. They sneak in when I sleep. This place isn't safe. I have locked my work away in the study. I am leaving now. I will put an end to this terrible torment one way or another. David, if you find this, then I am dead. The forces abroad here have got to me. I am sorry you have been drawn into this tragedy. The answers you seek are amongst the papers in the Master's study. Use them. Stay safe. I love you, son. My God, what happened here? What did they do to my father? Is this the key father spoke of? I've never seen a key like this before. It feels like father wanted me to keep it a secret. Hmm. Hi there. You... you startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Hey, wait! Where did he go?
Hmm. It doesn't fit. Open sesame. Someone's been searching here. Either they didn't have time to clean up, or simply did not care. If Father hid the key for me to find, then this means nobody has been able to enter this room since his death. Myths and Legends of the Highlands. From the library, I'd wager. This looks interesting. Hmm. screwed down tight. <laughs> Someone didn't want it moved. Everything but the seal. What a mess. Letters about the day-to-day -day running of the estate. These might be useful if I decide to live here. The handwriting must be Edward's. Pay half what he asks. Forward to lawyers. Charming. And this one. Your money won't protect you forever. The hangman will catch up eventually. A curse on you and your family. Seems he was as popular as he was pleasant. I beg you to reconsider, Sir Edward. My family has lived on this land for many generations, and to be told we must leave our own home is too much to bear. Alice, my wife, whom you have met, is beside herself with grief. We have nowhere else to go. I beg you to look inside your heart and allow us to remain. Have them out by the end of the month. The signs are there. Deny them at your peril. The ancient evil that inhabits this land has seeped into the very stone of the castle walls. And if you do not tread carefully, it will infect your family. Contact the constable. Have this witch locked up so she does not bother us again. Oh, 
Some sort of secret compartment. Father's handwriting. The chapel. The family chronicles. I may find answers there. Looks like a note about the cipher in the shelf. Just bits and bobs. A local girl goes missing. The concerns have been raised at the disappearance of Cora McKay, a 17-year-old local girl. According to the police, she was last seen leaving her place of work, the Three Kegs Inn, two days ago. She is the third person to disappear in recent months, but the circumstances of each have been markedly different. Cora is described as being four foot ten, with grey eyes and long, dark hair. Anyone with information is urged to contact the constabulary. Why all the fuss? She is nothing but a peasant. A tavern girl. If you can't keep your blabbermouth shut, don't be surprised if others make sure you get what's coming to you. This sounds as if Grandfather Edward was willing to take drastic measures to enforce his will.
this castle certainly has its secrets. It looks very precise, accurate. A lot of work went into this. There's a bit miss. Hold on. There. Stop your wife! Stop your wife! Wait! The boy! Did you see him? Where did he go? What did I tell you about disturbing me in my city? David. Uh, the boy. There was blood and Eddie. He, he pushed him down. Who? Who do you think you saw? <sighs> him. them too, can't you? I've been babbling in my sleep since I was a child. It's nothing to worry about. Poor girl is scared out of her wits. Of course, sir. Sorry, sir. My father. What did he think he saw? It ain't my place to say, sir. But I... Go on. Begging your pardon, sir. You should go. This place, it drove your father mad. Drove him? Did he say what or whom he saw? I'm sure I don't know, sir. Best not push her too hard. She's scared enough of me already. But sorry, I didn't get your name. It's Ailsa, sir. Ailsa Cranon. Oh, and Master Andrew asks if you would join him in the library. After breakfast, of course. Thank you, Miss Cranon. Get a hold of yourself, David. what drove my father from the castle when he was young? Were they what drew him back? He must have found something in the family chronicles he spoke of. Nobody else saw the boy or the old man who looked like my grandfather Edward. But it felt real, more even than the daydreams that plagued my childhood.
I don't remember ever seeing that boy. A faded memory, perhaps? As far as I know, I'd never been to this castle before. Elsa knows more than she wants to tell me. Mm -hmm. 